hello again. I figured while I was at it, I might make a second video. Um, and this time, uh, instead, look at some raking. Um, particularly some raking with some homemade tools. Um, so I'm going to rake two of these locks. Uh, this one I have actually not been able to get at all yet. Um, I think it's the this is the newer version of the 234B45. Uh, you can see that uh, we now have the Asa Aploy parent company logo directly uh, displayed. And I think the other thing that's changed is we have a pin in here, which I think is counter drilling in some respect. And the hole that's here has disappeared. We still have a, a water hole at the bottom. Um, and yeah. Anyway, so I can single pin pick this one, but it's so easy to rake. And I think that's primarily due to the fact that the bidding on the key for it, look how evenly spread those pins are. So the moment I stick something like a bow guitar into this, um, it just gives way almost immediately. Uh, whereas this one, I cannot remember for the life of me which key it is, but um, it definitely has some high lows and it's still confounding me in single pin picking. So it disappears for the time being. Um, let's get cracking. So I just wanted to use some homebrew um, tools today with this one. So let's give that a go. Start with this. Um, I quite like picking these upside down or I don't know if you're Aussie or American I guess this is upside down for you guys. If you're in Europe this is the correct way up. Um, but anyway so this is just a, I think this is like the first bow guitar I actually made. It's got a tiny bit of heat shrink on the back just for easier grip. I I think I buggered up when I tried to make this and it didn't it broke off at the end so it's quite small but it made it perfect to use it as a template <laughs> for all the other bogotas I've been making recently <laughs> anyway let's see if I can give this a crack and it should go pretty quick there we go 234b45 so just to show that that was the key for it It is. So yeah, that's really easy to rake. It's just about getting the tension right. You, you don't even have to move with the, um, when you're raking it, I, I don't even have to go up and down much. It's just basically a straight, a straight motion. And, um, it, it basically pops almost immediately. I, I think I've, at one point I got this down to a two-stroke action to to get it open. Um, but anyway, so that's the 234B45. And, and I think only because of the pinning. Uh, I think if it had more radical pinning, it would be much harder. And I might, I might even do that. Um, I have a pinning kit on the way, so I might end up modifying this one at some point in the future. So let's move to this Avis. So this is the Mariner 8345 series, Mariner edition. Um, I got this lock really, really early and I have not played much with it. Um, I haven't single pin picked this yet to date. And the only way I got it open in the past um, very early on was with the bow guitar and it was the first pick and only pick I've broken to date um, snapping a bow guitar inside this at one point 
Um, and I was very rough with the, the bow guitar back then, um, sort of almost bitch picking and, and very a lot of side to side action actually to kind of flick the pins into into place. Um, so no wonder that I ended up breaking that pick. So let's see if I can get it with something. I have gotten this with a bow guitar since, but I have been actually finding. So I'll show some some homemades that something like this, I think it's a called a, I could be wrong here, I think it's called a Montserrat, uh, has actually been particularly successful for me. Um, I've also gotten it with, and again I could be wrong on the terminology here, where you had a double peak at the front, and then a space, and then a single peak at the back. But I'll, I'll use this one for the moment. Um, and for those who are interested, this is the key. So we've got a nice high one here, right at the back. So it's a six pin up. Anyway, let's give this a whirl. Um, and I will pick it the other way around because the tool is designed to be held like so. Anyway, so let's give this a whirl. feel it giving way and it's that last pin I think that I'm that really deep top one that's the last one that's left like the sixth very very in the back there we go open <laughs> 8345 MAR. So just to show that this is the the key for this. Um and I guess I could open it. Um but I'm very very lazy right now. Uh, it would mean getting a whole bunch of my uh tools out to be able to deal with getting the pins out and then putting them all back in and I don't have a plug follower for this which sucks as well so I won't um, and I apologize for that I guess because I could be cheating and you'll just have to take me on faith um, but I will probably end up opening this at some point in the future and if I do so um, I will we'll do it on camera anyway um, this is, if you want to see the tool again, I got a bit lazy on that second peak there, not giving it a, a bow underneath. Um, so this is sort of inspired by Raymundo, and I've just put some heat shrink on it for, for more comfort. Um, and yeah. Thank you for watching.